If you're a creative looking for a fast, portable backup solution, you're in luck. Meet Klausentainer. Whether you're a photographer, DP, content creator, or travel vlogger, we all share one task. We have to back up all that media at the end of the day. Personally, after a long shoot day, that's something I kind of dread. That's where Klaus and Tainer comes in. Tainer takes the headache out of that end of day backup. It's fast, portable, and most importantly, reliable. Let's dive in. The Klaus and Tainer comes with the Tainer device, a protective silicon case, Wi-Fi dongle, USB-C cable, and the manual. The build is solid and has a great feel to it, while still being lightweight and incredibly portable. Tainer weighs only seven ounces and is less than one inch thick, making it easy to throw in a bag or laptop case without adding any bulk. The face features a 2.4 inch screen for navigation, progress monitoring, and previewing files. The right side has a USB-C port for hard powering, charging, and offloading to PC, Mac, or smartphone, and a dial for menu navigation and power on off. The left side features a LAN port and USB 2.0 port. The included Wi-Fi dongle connects to this USB port for wireless cloud connection. The bottom of the device is reserved for your media backup inputs. Tainer includes three ports for backup, SD card, XQD slash CF Express Type B, and a USB host port. They went with CF Express Type B here, which makes sense for a couple of reasons. First, it doubles as an XQD slot. So you get two compatible cards without taking up excess real estate. Second, Type B seems to be winning the race over Type A at this point. We're seeing faster speeds out of Type B and camera companies that may have used Type A in previous cameras, such as Sony with the FX3 and FX6, are shifting over to Type B with newer releases like the Verano. If you do need a reader that's not natively accepted on the Tainer, you can connect an external reader to a USB host port. That same USB host port also allows you to connect external SSD and hard drives for secondary backup. Speaking of backup, let's go over the backup process on the Tainer. Klaus and Tainer uses a user replaceable M.2 SSD for its internal storage and I absolutely love this feature. Not only does this allow you to choose your preferred storage size and brand, it also increases the longevity of the device itself. Even with the increased reliability of newer solid state drives, all drives will fail eventually. If the drive in your Tainer does happen to fail, you just have to buy a new SSD rather than a whole new device. In a world of planned obsolescence, that's pretty awesome. The backup process on the Tainer is incredibly straightforward. First thing you'll see when you turn on the device is your internal SSD status and storage usage. Insert your media. Tainer will show you the amount of data on that media and will ask where you want to direct your backup. A really cool feature is that you can actually backup to multiple destinations simultaneously, such as the internal SSD and an external drive. This is a really great option if you need to hand off a drive to a client on the go. For this purpose, we'll just do internal SSD. Select your destination and it'll give you two options copy and verify, and copy. Copy performs a simple backup and is the quicker option. Copy and verify takes longer, but it performs a bit-by-bit -bit checksum verification to ensure a perfect one-to-one -one backup. Unless you're on a time crunch, this is the method I would recommend, and it's the method I use for pretty much all of my backups. This checksum process is a huge selling feature of the device. There's nothing worse than diving into an edit and realizing you're missing data or have a corrupted backup. That reliability is what gives me the confidence to recommend the Tainer. No matter how many cool features you pack into a product, if it's not reliable, it's not worth using. The Tainer is built on a reliable foundation. This isn't unproven software. This isn't a crowdfund creation. It's a proven device built by the minds behind the excellent Next2 backup systems. Devices I've used for over a decade without failures. Once backup is complete, it'll give you a success message with info about your data. If backup happens to fail for any reason, such as a power loss, the device will notify you. Tainer also allows for sequential and incremental copies. Sequential copy lets you insert multiple cards at once and then backs up and organizes them in sequential order. Incremental copy lets you back up from the same card throughout the day or the shoot without making duplicate copies. Tainer will recognize the data that's already backed up to the internal SSD and will only copy the new data. This is a huge time saver. Now that you have your backup, you can preview your footage and make secondary backups to external drives or to the cloud. Cloud Backup currently allows you to upload to OneDrive, Dropbox, and Google Drive. This is a really great way to get your footage online quick. For your initial cloud connection, you'll want to use the Clouder app. Tainer will then save that login info so you can upload to that cloud destination without the app moving forward. The app also allows you to duplicate folders and copy and preview files. 
This is another quick and easy way to manage your data. So, would I recommend the cloud container? Absolutely. If you're a creative on the go, hoping to ditch your laptop, or just looking for a fast, reliable way to back up and duplicate footage on set, you really can't beat this device. Tainer is a feature-rich device packed in a portable package with a streamlined user-friendly interface. It's not overstuffed with bloatware. Every feature is intentional and tailored for creatives without ever sacrificing its most important aspect, reliability. Clouds and Tainer has been a crucial piece of my kit, and I'd suggest you do yourself a favor and make it a part of your kit as well.